Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Myself, Dr. Rizwan, physiotherapist. Today, I am describing the frozen shoulder. In frozen shoulder, I am describing introduction of the frozen shoulder, pathology of frozen shoulder, diagnosis of frozen shoulder, physical examination, special test for frozen shoulder, treatment, role of role of physiotherapy, role of the patient, surgery, and why does frozen shoulder hurt more at night? First of all, I am describe what is frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is a condition characterized by stiffness and pain in your shoulder joint. Frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis. Septums. Frozen shoulder typically develops slowly and in three stages. Each stage can last a number of months. Number one, freezing stage. Number two, frozen stage. Number three, thong stage. Number one, freezing stage is a painful phase and frozen stage is stiff phase and thorn stage is a recovery phase. Now I am telling about one of the one. Freezing stage. This stage is painful phase. Develop a pain, sometimes severe. It slowly gets worse over time and may hurt more at night shoulder motion limited this can last anywhere from two to nine months now second one is frozen stage adhesive or stiff phase moving your shoulder become more difficult and becomes harder to get through daily activities your pain might get better but your stiffness get worse this stage can last 4 to 12 months. Now, third stage is thong stage, which one is recovery phase. The pain and stiffness start to resolve du during this phase. Your range of motion starts to go back normal. This can take anywhere from 5 months to 26 months. The total time duration of this process is from 12 to 42 months, on average 30 months. Now the pathology of frozen shoulder, in pathology chronic inflammation, myofibroblastic proliferation, autoimmune cas, trigger points with myofacial pain syndrome, rarely subacromial bursitis prevascular infiltration questions to ask to determine possible pathologies does moving your neck change your symptoms do you ever feel unstable during arm movement when you do action with your arms over your head does this aggregate your pain level is it difficult to move your arm when performing actions with your arms over your head do your arms feel heavier these are the questions in which we describe the pathology diagnosis clinical diagnosis presence of three features to diagnose frozen shoulder number one internal rotation restricted number two fifty percent loss of external rotation number three less than ninety degree of abduction in diagnosis however these criteria are not definitive and presence of all three symptoms is not mandatory and x-ray and mri 